coming up next will be the CD03 uh, Vacation Hotel to the Solar System. It'll be uh, run by tutors Tony and David. Um, Tony and David are both working at Zaha Hadid Architects in Beijing office. And let's hear about uh, your presentation and maybe uh, your self introduction too. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Tony. Hello, my name is David. Tony. You guys ready for the presentation? Yeah. Uh, welcome to welcome to our um, project called uh, Vacation Hotel to the Solar System. And uh, okay, the next page. Um, the story starts from let's say because we human beings have already successfully landed the alien world, like the moon, multiple times half a century ago. However, um, we also send um, probes to each and every one of the planets inside our solar system. And uh, as we speak, there are multiple rovers busy working and exploring alien worlds. The high resolution photos that they send from billions of kilometers away are like uh, local postcards that inviting people to visit. Um, from the first telescope back to the 17th century, to the current Martian rovers, we knew that more and more about our neighbor planets was. Those little dots used to be in a light in a night sky, now suddenly become a planet, a world, a place, and maybe one day can kind of become a destination. And some forward-looking entrepreneurs are already launching space vacation products. For example, Richard Branson's plan for Virgin uh, Galaxy and Jeff Bezos plan for Blue Origins will send the public to the orbiting hotel. And Elon Musk SpaceX has begun to deliver cargo to the International Space Station and plans to build a self-sufficient Mars base in the near future. So in our opinion, it's possible for us to have a holiday in the outer space. And it will be only a matter of time before we can buy tickets on our mobile phones. And although the current space exploration is 100% in the field of scientific research, but we find extreme planetary environments which have the rich tourism resources. And our studio speculates on the future of space tourism industry and the continuous development of exoplanet touristic attractions in the solar system. And in short, and our, bit, our ambition is to reinvent the lifestyle and the architectural spaces in the space, in the age of space. Our intuition might told us that our planet's Earth must be unique, unique in our universe. Those materials and environments that support complex life must be super rare. Alien planets environments mm, must be super extreme and depthful. However, the recent study told us that our neighbor planets, sceneries and environments might be much more familiar than you imagine. We have explored, measured and took samples on each one of the planets. And now we, we knew that um, they are not far from our own planet. And not only not far from our own planet, the chemical elements of these planets are very similar to the ones we can find on Earth, like Mercury, which is the closest to the sun and has an average temperature of 350 degrees Celsius, has a lot of ice water on, in the uh, polar region, and Venus used to have a vast ocean and delicate atmosphere. The atmosphere above Venus is very close to the Earth's surface atmosphere, and Mars was once as livable as the Earth. And there were a lot of glacier in its uh, poles. U Europa has a huge underground ocean and undersea hot springs, and Titan has a liquid methane lake on its surface. Well, visiting those planets' worlds can have uh, countless romantic and interesting vacation scenes. For example, on the moon, you can enjoy the beautiful blue Earth through your hotel full high glass or you can visit the back side of the moon to stare at the magnificent Milky Way. And you can also visit the first Apollo program site and took a lunar rover to enjoy the great craters and uh, mountains. 
On the mer Mercury, you can lay on the fine volcanic ash and enjoy the greatest sunshine in the solar system and go surrounding basin and sun skiing. Or you can ride a Mercury bike to chase a never setting sun. And for nature loving Earth travelers, you can climb Martian's magnificent uh, Marina Canyon and Mount Olympus, the highest mountain in the solar system, and stroll in the North Maze, or go to the polar ice caps for summer vacation and hot springs. On Jupiter, you can take an airship to explore the beautiful Great Red Spot and enjoy the greatest aurora. Experience the most excuse me, experience the most violent volcanic eruptions on Eero, and ice climbing and diving on Europa, and then all the special tea made from the local spring to warm your body. On Saturn, for example, you can closely enjoy the timeless breathtaking rain and the amazing polar hexagon. Or you can visit the Sanon's hometown Titan to take off the spacesuit and surf on the Messine Lake. If you are a winter sports person, then Pluto should be your first choice. Low gravity skiing and ice skating is a local most popular attractions. Science and technology allow the freedom of imagination and inspire architects' innovative ideas. And our design brief has really taken advantage of the narrative skills of European visions, uh, sorry, uh, utopian visions and transform the achievements of scientific research and explorations into the tourism resources in the solar system. So we hope to attract students with strong curiosity and courage to explore uncharted territories and bring them the fun of thinking. So from another perspective, our studio also hopes to attract a kind of students who wondered about the cultural impact of space travels, like encountering foreign environments and the newfound knowledge will have shaped the values of space traveler or his and her society. So personally, I enjoy seeing the cultural influence of such architectural narratives, and it's becoming a motto to us. Sometimes dystopian architecture pro uh, pro projects may capture the imagination of the audience better than the uh, utopian projects, because such architectural works lay out all possible versions of our collective future. Well, we well, we anticipating the upcoming space vacation program. The hotel experience will take a great part of the vacation journey. Unlike the uh, over -pre predicted and realistic large scale scientific opera scene, we actually prefer a more practical and smaller scale project, which can focus more into details. With the combination of the material technology and design, the project should carefully respond to the extreme alien environments such as temperature, air pressure, gravity, radiation and so on to come up with a well designed and locally um, uh, characterized uh, space hotel. I can say by saying that I can give an example of um, how yeah. we uh, how we guide our previous uh, some of previous students work and uh, to develop a small scale uh, living space. The first one, for example, I'll just quickly go through. This one is a, uh, it's a climbing device in Mar on Mars, which is to climb the, uh, like the largest uh, canyon uh, in the solar system, the Marina, the Mar Marina Canyon, to have a, a in inhabitable fragment that to, to protect and uh, to, to secure the uh, climber uh, uh, athletes to to challenge the, the the upcoming new attitude and the other project yeah next you can see the capsule yeah and uh, it should be much more uh, assembled and uh, fragmented. This project, for example, is also a project on Mars. This is uh, like a movable mobile gym, which is uh, on Mars, which because um, due to the low gravity, then those uh, astronauts or the uh, space tourists will have a uh, weak, uh, weaker and weaker muscles. This this device helps them to uh, to like um, 
uh, like a gym, a political gym that allows them to exercise and also with this kind of um, uh, transparent uh, glasses to protect them as well as to let them to enjoy the great views on Mars. Yeah, something like that. Hope that um, uh, helps and uh, if there are any questions, can directly ask. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Tony and David. Um, do we have any questions from the students and other teachers? No, no I have a small question. Uh, which planet would you start and how many planets will you tackle in the course? Um. I would say we prefer those um, terrestrial planets, which are much more uh, rocky and Earth-like planets, which are which which we can uh, find us are much more familiar with. For example, um, the Mercury, the Venus, Mars, Moon, of course, and and, and some of these uh, moons to the other gas giants, which also have a very uh, how to say relative. A comfortable environment to to be habit with. Yeah, sounds like a very cool project. Okay, so uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, you can also email us to ask um, the tutors in the future. So let's move on to the next presentation. Uh, thank you, Tony, and thank you, David.